All right, so how did I go from zero to 224K a month with Shopify drop shipping? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that want to simply aspire to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. So to kind of jump right into it, I know in some of my other videos, you guys may have heard me talk about, you know, my story, you know, how I got started entrepreneurship, things like that, but I never did a, you know, an exact story on how we went from, you know, from doing zero to doing 224K a month with Shopify dropshipping. So, you know, me and my business partner, Samir, we were actually doing door-to-door -door sales. Uh, that's, you know, the background that we come from. We were doing door-to-door -door sales, specifically in San Diego. And this is actually where the idea of, you know, testing out an internet business or just the idea of running an online business kind of sparked for me personally. Uh, he, my business partner, Samir, had already had some type of background with like, you know, internet businesses or he or at least had an understanding of how they worked. I was still brand new to getting into all of this. Mind you, this was only, you know, six or seven months ago from right now. So this was around, you know, I first got started learning about it like around May, you know, then started really diving more deep into it around, you know, June or so. But I wanted to kind of share with you guys, you know, literally just how we got started because, you know, believe it or not, for me and my business partner, e-commerce was just simply an experiment. It wasn't any more than that. Me and my business partner, Samir, we started hearing about these, you know, 17 year olds that were selling these fidget spinners online, right? You guys all seen the fidget spinners before. So we started hearing about them selling the fidget spinners, not only selling it, but absolutely crushing with these, like doing six figures a month. After seeing that, I'm like, yeah, I could definitely see how these, you know, how these guys were crushing it. I mean, these fidget spinners were all over the place. You know, they were everywhere. And that kind of sparked an interest, like, right? What do these seven, two type of 17 year olds know that we don't, right? So we figured, you know, if they can do that and they can crush e-commerce selling little things like fidget spinners, we can probably do the same thing. So what I went ahead and did is literally, this is exactly how I went. I went in, you know, I had an e-commerce. Uh, I already had some business courses that I had invested in. I'm obviously, I'm huge when it comes to business courses. That's where I learned and I have all my, you know, a lot of my knowledge from. So I had an e-commerce course. I went and took that course. Um, then I started to, you know, pretty much, I literally went and took two or three days where I would go after long days doing door-to-door -door sales. For those of you guys that don't know, door-to-door -door sales is just brutal and ruthless, but I do recommend for anyone just getting started to, you know, start off with some kind of sales job and door-to-door -door sales is actually a perfect one that you can get started with. So I um, started off with door-to-door -door sales. What I would do is on the end of my days, I would take some time, two or three hours to go into a, a Panera Bread and I would start literally just digging away on my laptop, learning, you know, the things that I was learning from, you know, this e-com course. And literally what I was doing is as I'm learning, I would start to implement it right away. So what I would do is I would have one screen with my, um, you know, with my, the course open and I have another screen uh, simply with my store open and literally implementing everything that I'm learning. So when it, uh, you know, setting up a store, you know, finding the products, setting up the collections, all that stuff, right? So I was literally doing side by side. So uh, at the end of three days, I had a store put together. I did, I went over exactly what kind of store and how I made one of my biggest mistakes in one of my previous videos. You guys can check that out. I put together that store and then I went to Samir uh, and I told him like, hey, you know, I, I know you already have some experience with Facebook ads, right? I put this store together, but I don't know how to run ads. So what we did is, you know, I figured, you know, I'll take care of running the store, finding the products, all that stuff. If you can simply just help me out and, you know, run the ads and take care of that stuff and show me, you know, what you know and some of your experience and, you know, what's kind of worked and what has it. So we partnered up. You know, we tried our first store, and again, you guys, some of you guys may have heard that our first store completely failed. So if it happens to you guys, don't worry, I've been there. So after that, you know, what we did is we partnered up, we started to, you know, get, put in more time and efforts to it, right? Just because we, we kept seeing, you know, not only these 17 year olds crushing it, but other people crushing it. So we're like, okay, cool. So we went ahead and did the same thing and kept trying, you know, kept trying different things. So we put together another store, and again, same thing, we spent some hours doing it, found the product, set it up, I did that. And then he was taking care of, you know, launching these different uh, Facebook ad campaigns. So we had a pretty even split where 50-50 of the work was divided. That actually did help us out a lot, you know, to kind of test more because obviously he was spending his time just doing that and I was spending my time, you know, simply focusing on, you know, what I had to do, building that store, I'll find these products. So it, it became, you know, it got pretty easy to obviously to do my part. Basically with that, we put together another store, you know, we started testing some products here and there. Nothing really took off at first, so we did, you know, our first few days, we did lose a few hundred bucks. I had set aside uh, specifically $2,000, and it was money that I had saved up from doing door-to-door -door sales. With these $2,000, you know, I just put it aside, and my thought process was, you know, worst case, you know, I just lose $2,000, and it just, obviously, I get to, you know, learn some skill sets about e-commerce and dropshipping. Best case, you know, we make an extra 
two to three hundred bucks. That was my thought process. I wasn't planning on, you know, making whatever we end up making our second month, 200 grand or anything like that crazy, right? My thought process was, mind you, I didn't even know how internet marketing works, how online businesses work. So my thought process was, you know, best case, you know, we make an extra 500 bucks off this $2,000. That was my best case scenario. I had no idea. So I had the $2,000 set aside. Our first couple of days in advertising, I saw a few hundred dollars go down the drain. I was getting worried. I'm like, I don't know, Samir, bro. We're going to have to just stop this thing. I don't want to keep losing our money. You know, I stayed faithful. I stayed consistent. I really believed in what we were doing. So after a few negative days where we lost a few hundred bucks, at the end of the week, we actually had our first break-even day. So that was when the turning point first started. We got our first break-even day. And then from there, the next day, we were profitable, like our first 50 bucks. And then from there, 100 and then we pretty much scaled on and we were able to quickly scale up to how in our first, I would say in our second real month of e-commerce and dropshipping, you know, we made 224 grand. I can actually post a screenshot here to actually show you guys uh, absolutely insane. You know, what, what was able to happen, you know, simply with experimenting. Because again, this all started as an experiment. We were not planning on, you know, like launching a full-time e-commerce business. Obviously, we had no idea how they even worked. When we had our first thousand dollar day, I'm like, no way that's crazy so then from there you know a lot of you guys know when it comes to like facebook ads and marketing you, you know you you know the way that it works is is obviously once you're, you're putting in a hundred dollars to your facebook ads and you're getting a return a double or three times a return you know you're seeing that when you put in a hundred dollars in your budget you're now making back two or three hundred well obviously now what you do from there is that you're able to scale your budget and you know as you increase your budget basically the more you make so now once you see that that hundred dollars is going to make you 200 300 you know you simply increase your budget to 200 dollars, and i obviously you expect it to make either three or four hundred and then from there you just you know consistently scale up you know i figured i'd share a little bit of the story that i you know a little bit of the story with you guys to kind of let you know how it was how it worked for us you know because rollins he's super grateful that um you know that we've always been able to accomplish you know the, the, those kind of results and that short of a time frame you know i know people that we come across all the time that have been spending a year or even more trying to figure out you know shopify job shipping and honestly um, for us it was a little bit of luck but more of obviously you know persistence patience and obviously utilizing the right resources right so right now up to date honestly there are more resources available for people to get started with e-commerce and drop shipping than we had right when i first got started we didn't have you know all these different softwares these different tools obviously right now with our p2p accelerator we obviously teach students or people that are you know pretty much brand new to the internet and online business world how they can get started literally from how to start a shopify store all the way to how to launch your successful facebook ad and with them we actually share these different things like tools that show you you know what kind of products you can are already selling really well you know pretty much pre-optimized themes that you can take advantage of you know how to uh narrow down your Facebook audiences and more, right? So uh, for anyone that's thinking about, you know, where can they find more e-commerce and dropshipping trainings? Uh, we actually do have a P2P accelerator that we put together me and my business partner, showing the exact strategies we used to go from zero to 224 grand a month in Shopify dropshipping. Now, I'll actually include a link in the description so you guys can actually check it out and see if we do have multiple, you know, success stories. We have different testimonials, of uh, people that are actually getting results from the training. So. Again, it is up to you. It is just another resource that we figured we put together and you know kind of have out there. We like it's fine if you guys you know obviously don't have too much interest in it because we are fully focused on our business. We figured you know we'd find a way to kind of give back and put together uh, somewhat of a training of what's you know what strategies we're implementing right now and strategies that you guys can actually take advantage of yourselves. So if you got any value from this video, my story, you know, give me a, a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know. You know, give me some feedback on what you think about you know the results that we were able to generate and you know if you're doing it how it's going for you with e-commerce and drop shipping and of course if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button join the b fam and i'll see you guys in the next video peace